What's up everybody? My name is Scott Paddock and today we are going to talk about the saxophone embouchure. Now there are all different kinds of concepts when it comes to embouchure and it all comes down to what kind of music you're playing. If you're playing classical saxophone, you're going to have a different uh, approach than if you're playing jazz or funk or something like that. But I'm going to show you two embouchures today. The first is going to be what I use with my beginners and the second is going to be the one that I use and what I teach my students once they hit like intermediate going on advanced. Okay, so let's just start off with what the embouchure is. So the embouchure is the way your mouth goes around the mouthpiece and that has a lot to do with how much the reed vibrates. So let's just start off talking about the very basic embouchure. For that, I'm just gonna take my neck off and what you want for a basic embouchure is you want your bottom lip rolled over your teeth. You want the fattest part of your lip over top of your teeth. So it's kind of acting like a cushion. Now, the top teeth go on the mouthpiece. So bottom lip over your teeth, top teeth on the mouthpiece. And then the corners go inside. And that's pretty much it. That's your basic embouchure, is bottom lip over your teeth, top teeth on top of your mouthpiece, and corners inside. Now the next thing to talk about is how much mouthpiece you should take in and why. And the answer to that is if you take your saxophone, uh, your neck, your mouthpiece, and you look at it from the side and you close one eye, you can see that right here is where the reed generally touches the mouthpiece. So that's where you want your bottom lip to be. That's going to give you the most vibration of the reed. So if you put your lip here, you're going to get way less vibration and a way smaller sound than if you put it here, which is where the reed actually hits. If you put it here, then you're going to have too much vibration and you're not going to have any control over it. So the basic rule is put your bottom lip where the reed hits the mouthpiece. So from the side, it will look like this. If you take in too little, like this, and too much, like that. So I'll actually play it and you'll hear the difference. This is a normal embouchure. This is if I take in too little. Get that reed fighting, it won't vibrate. And this is taking in too much. It just sounds like a duck. Like it sounds crazy. So you want to take in just that right amount to where the reed hits the mouthpiece. Now that is the embouchure concept that I teach all of my new students and especially my younger students. Uh, once they start getting more advanced, then we talk about how to get a little bit bigger of a sound. And the way to do that is to roll your lip out in your embouchure. So instead of, so instead of having your lip just right over top of your teeth, like this, you roll that lip out. So the easy way to do that is put the saxophone in your mouth and then pull it out a little bit. So you go. I know it looks a little bit weird staring at my lips, but you want to get that bottom lip rolled out some and that's going to let the reed vibrate more. It gives you more muscle on the uh, reed so that you have way more control over it. Muscle meaning like your lip is the muscle and your lip is what's controlling the vibration. So the more, the more muscle you can have on there, the fatter part of your lip on there, the more control you're going to have over it. Now, in the beginning, when you switch to this rolled out lip embouchure, you're gonna get some squawks and squeaks and some crazy sounds, and it might take you a good week or two to get comfortable with it. But once you do, your tone is just gonna get so much bigger because of the control that you have over the reed and over the, vibra and over, and over the vibration. So I'll just play uh, with the basic embouchure, and then I'll play the exact same thing with the lip rolled out uh, embouchure, and you'll hear a big difference. Now this is with my lip rolled out. Did you hear how much more open that tone was? When the lip is just on the, lip, on the reed without being rolled out? When you roll it out just a little bit. Now, if you roll it out too much, you're gonna get squawks and squeaks. Yeah, it kinda sounds like a beginner saxophone player. So the trick is to just get that lip rolled out just enough. So if this is your mouthpiece, this is uh, the regular embouchure, the beginning embouchure, and you have to roll it out to here. So you still have a fat part on the teeth and a fat part on the reed. And that's it. 
You wanna get a bigger sound? That is a great way to do it. It gives you so much more control and your tone is really gonna improve. Again, it's gonna take a couple weeks to get used to it, so you're gonna be in Squawk and Squeak City for a little bit, but once you get it, there's gonna be a gigantic difference in your tone. Thanks for taking the time to check this video out. I really hope you found it useful, and this new approach to the embouchure is gonna give you a nice, bigger, and fatter sound. Uh, if you do find this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks a lot.